It's a staggering number, 9 billion. That's the estimated world population in 2050. And perhaps most daunting here, how will we feed that many people? Tennessee farmers will have to do their part. In order for them to uh, be able to feed the 9 billion that's projected in future years, that they are going to have to increase their production. And the way they're going to have to do that, of course, is to fine tune their technology. With one third more mouths to feed, it's estimated agricultural production will have to increase by nearly two thirds in 2050. Acreage will be at a premium in the future as cropland becomes housing. So growing more food will depend on increasing crop yields as opposed to farming more acres. We try to continue to learn, increase our production, embrace the new technologies, build partnerships with different companies. Dyer County farmer David Nichols has traveled to China representing Tennessee soybean growers. He's seen firsthand the explosion of population in that nation and takes seriously the issue of the world's future food supply. When you see that and you witness that, that number, that mass of people that, that are depending on uh, U.S. soybeans to help feed uh, uh, the world, it, it, it's really an eye-opening experience. We now have 7 billion people on the planet and nearly 1 billion are hungry. We will have to grow more crops in the future, but we also have to address extreme poverty. As a matter of fact, a lot of the problems that we've had with, with hunger worldwide these last few years has been because of unable to purchase the food. UT Ag economist Dr. Darrell Ray says to feed the world in 2050, we must train a generation of agricultural experts as well as farmers here and in countries around the globe. Agribusiness is going to be a big business in the future, um, and it, it's just a matter of how long it takes to get to a particular level. In some countries it'll take longer than others, but it's still going to be there. There's one certainty about our world. Its number of people will keep growing. The hope and expectation is that we'll see agricultural technology and knowledge keep pace with an expanding population. This is Chuck Denny reporting.